Hello there, Simon Engel from uh, Tora Cookery. Just going to show you some cookery that we're going to be putting up for sale on the Tora Old and Antique section of our product page. Um, they're currently up for sale on Tora's Facebook page. So if you want to grab one, go there and put your name down on it. Um, the first one I'm going to show you is this one from uh, Made in Cotley Lower Haram. It's a well War One cookery, Italian issue. Beautiful, beautiful cookery. Um, it has a 33 centimetre long blade and it's just an outstanding cookery. They're very much sought after the Cotley Lower Haram. They're considered amongst the best in the world. Notice it's got very, very fine rings there. That's a sign of a Cotley Lower Haram made cookery and the shape of the cowardly there as well. Of course, it comes with the World War I, the standard World War I belt cap. Um, just a beautiful cookery um, for something that's 33 centimetres long. It, it's just superb to handle. And uh, the girl that had these was obviously very lucky to have it indeed. Now, it does come with the original scabbard, which uh, it's um, obviously seen better days, but there's no cracks in it or anything like that. And it comes with the original Carder and a very interesting Chapmac as well. Almost traditional in design, in fact. So very, very nice cookery to have in one's collection. Um, obviously, you may wonder why I'm selling these cookery, and that's simply because I'm just running down my, my own personal collection. Having uh, reached the grand old age of 65, it's, it's time to start moving them on. Now, here we have... Um, a World War II uh, 50R Rifles Cookery. Um, this has a blade length of 32.5 centimetres. Diamond butt cap, as you'd expect in World War II. Again, actually, it's, well, it's a very, very nice cookery, actually. It's almost on a par, if not on a par, with a lot of the um, better-made World War I battalion issue. Um, by now, of course, they were regimental issues, so centralised in that respect. Very, very nice. Now, it does come with the original Carda and the original Chapmac, which is rather nice. In fact, saying that, they're both actually Cardas. So whoever had this um, decided to have two Cardas or converted the Chapmac into another Carda. So that's quite nice. Um, the scabbard I have made to fit the cookery, but the frogs are the original World War II frogs that came with the cookery. So, a very, very nice cookery to have in your collection, just like the Cotley Low Haram. And the next one, that is a World War II first, second GR cookery. Now, this is probably the most photographed cookery in World War II. Pictures of Montgomery inspecting the second Gurkhas in North Africa. Um, Lauberhood at Tapa VC holding his, all sorts of things like this. Um, again, very, very useful cookery to have. This particular one is 32 centimetres long. It's obviously been used, as you can see, quite a bit, I would say. It's still actually, you know, considering everything, in very good condition, I think, for its age. But uh, it's certainly got a bit of character to it, that's for sure. And again, like you would expect, the Diamond Keeper on the World War II cookery and the classic first, second GR handle with those type of cookery. Very nice indeed. The original scabbard, which has seen better days, obviously there's no um, tape on it, and there's no Jack Mac and Carders with it, but it is the original scabbard. So, you've got the original cookery with the original scabbard, and that's quite nice, I think. Then we come on to a civilian Mark III. Now, um, in the bazaars in India, a lot of these were made and uh, people that wanted a cookery that weren't issued cookery um, would go to the bazaar and uh, you know, buy a cookery they thought suited them. So this is a, a classic Mark III, it's slightly shorter than uh, most, it's 29.5 centimetres long. And um, yeah, whereas the standard Mark III issue were in fact uh, 32 centimetres long has the full tang, which some people like, uh, has the brass rings around it and the full tang brass butt cap there. So that's quite a nice good group. Original scabbard and frogs, but there's no chat back and colours with this particular one. 
And finally, <coughs> although actually I've got to point out it's, the scabbard is a bit naff, but still usable. It wouldn't take much to fill up that crack and uh, make the scabbard totally usable again. And last, but no means least, um, we have a 1978 service number two. It's unusually long actually for that period. Has a 30 centimeter long blade. Very, very handy um, cookery, must be said. Um, nice to have in your collection. Um, it was bought in Hong Kong originally by um, a soldier that was serving out there. Obviously had a chat with the Gurkhas and managed to obtain one which is not uncommon actually back in that period. Um, Uncle Bill has a 1962 um, cookery. Unfortunately, he's passed away now. Um, and this one has the original scabbard as well, so, but no Chapman and Carlo. So a nice little collection there for people that want them. And uh, I must say the creme de la creme though is this cotley lower on. It has got a slight if you can see it, uh, crack, not crack, it's actually more of a hairline split to be honest with you on the handle there, uh, yeah, hopefully you can see that, um, but still a wonderful, wonderful cookery to have in your collection. Um, the um, eight Gurkha rifles, for example, use Cotley Low Harame cookery quite a lot, um, and Ross Campbell has several. Lucky, lucky chap, it must be said, with the Collie Low Haran marked on them and the eight Gurkha rifles uh, stamp first, third, and of course there's the second, which I did a video of um, earlier on, although it's not Collie Low Haran, it must be said, but it's certainly at least equal to Collie Low Haran, may you agree. Anyway, if you're interested, keep an eye out. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care of yourselves and enjoy your life.